despite more stringent penal provisions after 16 December 2012? Why have the number of gang rapes reported shown an alarming increase? What encourages videos of such gang rapes to be uploaded on the net? Why would police officers of a state invite the media to a live encounter? Candlelight vigils for rape victims, yes. But protests for rape accused, and that too by lawyers? The police knocking at your door at the instance of someone who didn't like what he saw online? A funny stand-up comedy clip, a sarcastic remark against the government, a Facebook post ridiculing a popular public figure? It could just about be anything. Now we know that at a short notice a mob can assemble. It will want justice here and now. Society appears to be on a short fuse and at times lacking a sense of humour. The saner and sober voice of reason is drowned out by the high decibel rabble rouses dressed as TV news anchors, framing the issue in binaries and whataboutaries. Then there are the troll armies that descend on an unbeating opinion holder in a cacophony of unreason. No sense, just noise. They are also creating ghettos. It's very difficult today in many of our metropolises for communal minorities to get houses, either to even, even to buy houses. I was surprised to be told by even a member of the judiciary that uh, he, it wasn't easy to uh, buy a house in this uh, city. So I think we need to seriously consider what's happening. How are we reconstructing our urban spaces? Being watched online and as Snowden let us know, your private electronic communications made available for data mining, maybe by your state, but definitely by the country of the service provider. Crowd photographs scanned with banked data to zero in accurately on suspects. Drone warfare that eliminates boots on the ground. The Orwellian dystopia of Big Brother watching every move and even trying to read your thoughts. Tied up with the return of retribution as a pivot around which criminal law administration is configured is the promotion of a general culture of violence, of immunity and impunity with the entities and individuals protected by the state or the state itself indulging in killing. Whether in fake encounters, uh, just in the state of Uttar Pradesh, the number of fake encounters in the last, uh, since 2017 has shown a remarkable increase or by way of custodial torture or extrajudicial killings. Sharpshooter policemen are valorized. Up the chapan. It even percolates to vigilante mobs. And we should pause to reflect on this. The more the state itself indulge, indulges in lawlessness, the message that goes out to vigilante mobs is that they can outdo the state even in that. If you like our channel, please subscribe and to get notifications about news, please click the bell icon.